Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought we would make some belly bands. Um, I'm making these to go in my um, Oceanic Adventure journal. Um, so that's what the papers that I'm using. But again, you can use any papers. I'm using the little sort of postcards that come in it, um, which are the sort of like shrunk down papers. Um, and they are absolutely perfect size for, for them. I've just cut them a little bit shorter um, when I finished them, but I think they're lovely, really, really nice. Nice. So I've just popped some um, coffee stain paper on the back, um, and I've got some uh, cheesecloth there, a little bit of seam binding on there, and then I've got some brads in the corner, um, which I think looks really nice. And then, of course, you just pop them on your journal or in a page like that, either side, and then you can just pop something through the middle. So I'm going to be making four of these because I've got four signatures to go in the journal. Um, so I've got two here. This one, I haven't put any brads on the corners. I've just left it. Um, I've just got some bits of material there, a little bit of seam binding. I've popped one of the actual fussy cuts on there as well. So these are the sort of fussy cuts that come with them. And I've actually printed these onto tea stain paper. Um, instead of just the white normal coffee um, printer paper so I've just coffee stained this one and printed them on there and I think they came out really nicely so I've just stuck an extra one on there which I think looks really nice um, so that's that one so I'm going to make a couple more let me just pop those out of the way now I'm going to use this one which is the fishy one now I think I'm going to make another one I'm going to make two out of this but I'm going to make one which is a little bit bigger so I'm going to make a big fat one so I don't sort of like waste any of this paper so let me just get my little cutter so I'm going to just have two fish on the bottom so if I cut it down there like that so I can have one bigger belly band so I've got the two fish on there and then I've got the one little fish on there so let me just pop that out of the way so what I'm going to do I'm going to stick them onto some coffee stain paper now how I did that I just folded it over so we want it sort of like roughly the same size you can always cut it down just like that and then I've just I kept it doubled over so we've got sort of like three layers of paper so they've they're, they're sort of like quite sturdy you don't want them too flimsy um, so what I'm going to do then I'm just going to stick that onto there so I'm going to stick this down I'm going to sew them um, so you don't have to stick down too well I'm just going to stick that on there glue this on just a little bit of glue stick quite simple and then we'll just pop that onto there like that just so it's level like that so that's a perfect and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to get my guillotine back down again and just give them a quick trim around the edges this a little bit on the top I think it's just poking poking through a little bit so there we go that's your little um, belly band so we can decorate that in a minute so let's do this one I've got another piece of paper here just use some of your scrap paper it doesn't really matter what you use underneath because you don't see it anyway so let's just fold that down glue this piece down so these are quite nice these are quite quick to make so I thought I would just do sort of like four of these for now um, to put in each signature I will probably do more um, but I want sort of like each signature to be similar but not exactly the same and I've got lots of things I'd like to add from my reference journal as well. So it's a good chance to use that to get some ideas to pop into this journal. So there we go. It's stuck down nicely. Let's just chop this piece off. Just go around the edge, tie 
I do that top bit up just oops, just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to measure these because I want them that size so that they fit on the page properly. So let's just take a tiny piece off that side. And a piece off that side. So that's roughly the right size and we will do the same with this one. I think I can just cut it off that end, can't I? Let's just chop it off this end like that. Is that the right length? Just a little bit shorter but that's okay. Okay, let's pop those there. So perfect. Two little belly bags. My desk is getting smaller and smaller because I've got so much stuff on it and so much bits of paper. Okay, so now I'm just going to ink around the edge a little bit just so it gets rid of that sort of like white bit, which I don't like. Just get rid of that and then we can start embellishing them. You can just leave them as they are, which are really pretty as they are so or I'm going to just add a few more bits and pieces so that they look nice and embellished so that's the ink right I've got a pile of bits here so this is the seam binding that I coloured I've got this which is I'm just loving this I think it's really really lovely um, I've got some of this these are the sort of ones that I pick so they sort of like colour match really. You don't want anything too odd on there. Let's just cut a little piece. I like to have things sort of like so they sort of dangle down underneath. Like that. I think it's sort of like over there. Got a little bit of lace here as well which we could use which would look quite nice. So we'll just Get your little bits of fabric, or you can even use bits of paper, it doesn't have to be fabric. Um, you can have bits of paper on there, that looks quite nice. What I might do, I might, when I sew it, I might sort of like wrinkle it up along the bottom. Because this will sort of like fray a little bit, I think. Cut these little bits off. So I'm going to wrinkle that up. I just like to just start by just sticking things on like that. And I'm going to stick this on top. So as I sew it on the machine, I'm going to just wrinkle it up like that. And then I'm not sure whether I like all of that white. A little bit there. I'm going to put a little bit of this underneath it as well. Open it up. And I might sort of I've got stick into my fingers. So we've got like a little bare bit up there. Let's pop that on there. A little bit of glue. So it sticks down. I'm not quite sure about that bit. I think I might have a little bit of seam binding. I think this one goes quite nicely, doesn't it? So I think I'll just pop that on there. Just cut a little piece off. Wrinkle it up a bit. Stick that on there. I won't stick it down because I will wrinkle it up when I'm sewing. Like that. So that will go on there like that. So I think that looks really nice. Now I did have... I picked these little bits of wood up when I go for my walk on the beach in the mornings. So I managed to find some tiny little bits of driftwood which are absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
can still see my hands look the dye hasn't come off my hands yet from the inking yesterday this is like bamboo I think um, which I've sort of like broken pieces off which I think that would look really nice on there as well glued on afterwards I think oh, we don't want too much over his little face like that so I might put that on so that one I'm going to sew in a minute and maybe pop that little bit of wood on there and then I'm going to do this one let's pop that down there let's have a look so I've got a little bit of this nice shiny material here I think this is off sort of my out of my sari pack of fabric I do believe not sure which way round it goes, I think that way. Like this, what else can we have? Maybe I'll pop a little bit of white. Doesn't matter if we cover up that little bit of um, coral, I don't think. Let's just take these bits off as to this so it's all messy. out of the way okay so I'm gonna just stick that on let's just go for it see if I can mess that up a little bit looks a bit too straight I think let's stick that on there little white piece underneath a little bit of glue on there and I will stick that on top. Now I am going to sew around this bit um, and I'm going to sew this bit. Shall we have a little bit of netting on there? Let's just see, where can we put this piece? Maybe we'll have it so it hangs down again. Just droops down. Oopsie daisy. Sticky fingers, a little bit of glue. It's quite handy to have all your little bits of fabric and everything next to you, so you can just sort of like grab it. All your colours, I do find it easier to get all my bits that I want to use in one place, um, and then you can just make lots of lovely things so that looks really nice i think right i'm going to quickly go and sew round these so i'm going to sew all the way around it um, and try and wrinkle that up and then i will sew all the way around this one i will probably sew around this as well to keep it on so i'll be two minutes okay so there we go i've sewn around these now let's just cut these little pieces off like that tidy it up a little bit under this one what I did was this one I went all the way around and then I just did some little like wavy lines down there instead of sewing sort of like a square to hold it on so I've just done a few little wavy lines let's make it all tidy and these little bits off the bottom Right, bits off. Not that it really matters because it's all sort of like hangy downy anyway, dangly. So I'm loving that. I think that looks really, really nice on that one. Okay, out of your little face. Let's just move this a little bit so it's not on the fishy face. Bit of glue there. Perfect. Loving them. Absolutely loving these. Really, really nice. Now, what did I do with that little piece of wood? So I'm going to put it on this one or the other one. Sticky fingers. Quite liking it on this one, actually. I think that looks really nice. Now, I'm going to have a darker piece of this underneath. Just, where's the dark bit? There's a little blue bit there. A little bit off 
little bit more so it's got a little bit more texture to it I think I want the journal that I'm doing now to have lots of different textures so it's a little bit more tactile and I think it's going to be a little bit bigger than my normal journals I'm going to stick this on with a little bit of um, three in one like that so if you've got some little tiny shells and you're doing a sort of journal or you're following me with your um, Oce oceanic adventure papers um, you can get some tiny tiny little shells which I might have a look for see if we've got any on our beach um, which you could add to these which I'm loving now I'm going to add a tiny bit of stickles to this little blue fish because I think he should be shiny I think he should be a little shiny fish he looks a bit grumpy but I think that looks really really nice I did add it did I add it to something else sure I did there we are see that's so simple now shall I add some brads to this maybe I will I think I'll add it to the larger one to this one so I've got some tiny little sort of brassy sort of brads there I'm going to make a hole now let's see let's just use my little foam pad just pop four little holes through like that okay, go this one I don't think I sewed that very level on there but never mind pop that out of the way and then pop these little brads in that makes a big big difference to this like that this one in there we go you don't have to put breads in you could put like little um, flat back beads if you don't have any brads just in the corners but I'm loving these. I think they look really, really nice. So I just need a little darken this up just a little bit. Just like that. And I think they're nice. Lovely. So there we go. We have a couple of easy, simple little um, belly bands. So I now have four. So I have one for each signature. Um, and I think they're great. Lovely. I tell you what I have done. Let me just see if they're dry. I did these, which are the tiny little, um, like little cabochon ones. Where are they? These are the little um, portholes, but the mini ones like that. And what I've done, I've just popped some um, diamond glaze in the middle. I don't think they're quite dry because I was going to put one on here on this one here it's not quite I don't want to squash it but I think I'll probably cut that out I've just cut it out I've printed them on 120 gram paper and then I've just stuck it to a piece of card only because when I put the diamond glaze on it stops it from warping um, but then I think I might just cut that out and pop it onto there on there so I shall see but there we go guys that's the lovely little belly bands um simple and nice and i think they look really really pretty so there we go guys thank you so much for joining me um please stay safe um and i will see you next time all right guys bye bye